Hey guys, I'm here at Google headquarters in California to take a look at Google's new Wi-Fi mesh networking system. It's the follow-up to Google Wi-Fi called Nest Wi-Fi. And what it is is you've got a Nest Wi-Fi router here and then these Nest access points that are going to spread through your home and extend coverage. Now the neat thing about these Google Nest Wi-Fi points that you're going to spread about your home, aside from the fact that they come in three colors, that's snow and mist and this is sand, is you can see each one actually doubles as a Google Assistant speaker. You've got the mute switch there, the you've got off. the speaker grill here at the bottom, and the microphone holes up at the top. So just like a Google Home Mini or the new Nest Mini, you can talk to one of these things, ask the Google Assistant to control your smart home, to tell you the weather, tell you a joke, and also do new things like ask for a speed test and how fast your network's running, ask it to pause the internet to some of the devices in your home or maybe a group of devices you've allocated for your kids. So if your kids are misbehaving and you want to pause the Xbox and the phone that they use, you can do that with a single voice command here. Google says this is also a lot faster than before. It's an AC2200 router. That's up from AC1200 with the first gen Google Wi-Fi system. So you're gonna get a nice speedy connection from these things. It's also four by four with four antennas in there. So if you have say a three by three MacBook, you'll be able to connect really fast with those multiple antennas working together to aggregate a good connection. As for the router itself, it is not a Google Assistant speaker, but it does function as the base of the system and it'll cover about 2,200 square feet on its own. Make that 3,800 square feet if you add in a single extender and you can build from there, obviously. That's the whole idea of this thing is to spread, spread Wi-Fi through your home in a way that just kind of works wherever you go. It's not gonna be great if you wanna do a LAN party or you have a lot of hubs to connect to your router though. You see it's only got this one ethernet jack in the back that's open for a device like that or for uh, you know a gaming system you wanted to plug in directly. Not a lot of room for uh, extension with that. So that's one of the limitations of Google Wi-Fi that I wish they would maybe consider fixing in the generation three whenever that gets here. Now Google also tells us that the new Nest Wi-Fi system is totally backwards compatible with the existing Google Wi-Fi system. So if you already have that first gen Google Wi-Fi setup in your home, you can just get a single one of these extenders, these Nest points, and you can connect it with your existing system. You don't need the new router. Now the big sales pitch with Google Wi-Fi and now with Nest Wi-Fi is that Google's done a lot of work really testing these things out to figure out all the different variables that might impact your connection. Okay, it's gonna pass you off from the 2.4 to the five gigahertz band automatically. It's gonna learn about your home and it's gonna give you tutorials as you set up to help you get the best possible signal strength. It's just designed to make your Wi-Fi work really well in your home without a whole lot of thought need to be put into it on your end. We liked Google Wi-Fi a lot when we tested it out three years ago, and we're going to test this one out pretty soon and let you know how it does. As for pricing and availability, Google tells us that all of this is coming out in November to the US, the UK, Australia, Canada, France, Germany, Singapore. We'll be testing it out soon. As for pricing, the Google Nest router is going to be $169 and the Nest access points here are gonna be 149 each. If you wanted to combine a Nest access point and a Nest router, it's gonna be a total of 269. If you want two of those access points with the Nest router, that's 349. So stay tuned, we'll know a lot more about this system and how it performs very soon once we test it out at the CNET Smart Home.